Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of a UV blacklight sold by MRHUA on Amazon.com. This is the 30 watt unit and it's got a lot of power to it. And the wavelength is 385 nanometers up to 450 nanometers. The unit is right here, comes with a, a USA plug and a nice long cord instruction manual, a uh, hex bit to undo the handle that allows you to mount it on your wall if you want outside, and two screws and two uh, drywall or adapters to hold it onto your wall. Now this is flicker-free technology. They have circuitry inside there to minimize or eliminate flickering. Uh, the LEDs will last over 50,000 hours. Their heat sink probably we're going to show that. You can use this indoor or outdoor because it is IP65 rated and I have a slide showing what that really means. You can't put it under water but you could uh, you could splash water on it and put it outside. It can be in the rain and so forth. The angle is about 120 degrees that comes off the LEDs and it's all aluminum alloy on the back in front of this high-grade LEDs and high-grade drivers inside with premium uh, LEDs utilized in there with heat sinks. The power cord is four and a half feet and the seller offers a full 12-month warranty and a 30-day satisfaction return guarantee. Now the optimal distance away for this to use is about two feet, uh, three feet and about a 5.1 by 5.8 square or area. Now these are very strong so I'm going to show you examples of me shining this on objects that are probably five, six, seven feet away and it still works great. Now if you look here on the back, we're going to show the back of this. Here is the label and it's, you can see it's ROHS compliant and CE compliant and has the wattage and power. We're going to measure that but you see it has a nice bracket on here with these hex screws and that allows you to take this tool and tighten and loosen it once you establish the proper angle that you want. Now you notice here that it has these fins and it's all smooth aluminum. We're going to measure that, the heat dissipation of that and that, what that does is that protects the LEDs. And behind these screws to the glass panel it has a gasket and all this is IP65 including the power cord right there. So we're going to uh, turn this unit on and we're going to measure the wattage that it takes out of the wall and we're going to even measure some of the lux out of this because it's uh, it's very bright at one foot away we're going to measure the lux. So I plug the unit in and I want to point out that it has a really nice power switch that is built right into the uh, AC cord. So you just click it to the on position, there's a little mark right there, and then the unit comes on. Now you can see it, uh, it's a different kind of light because it's not overwhelming the camera because it's ultraviolet. But you can see the basic operation of it. It's just real simple to operate, you just turn it on and off. And then if you're going to use it outdoors or indoors and you want to use this bracket, just take the bracket, use those mounting screws, and mount it to wherever you want and tighten those hex bolts right there and you're all set but really a very stylish looking unit it looks nice the glass looks thick at protecting it and you can see that they have a reflector to help reflect the energy and make it nice and even and we're going to let this run for about uh, I don't know 15 20 minutes I'm going to come back and uh, we're going to measure the lux and we're going to measure the temperature but before I do that Let's uh, just put a watt meter on here. So I have the kilowatt meter plugged in to the UV black light. And if you look at the display right there, 24.4 watts. So it's drawing less than 30 watts. So 30 watts is the rating of the power that's coming out of here. So you can see that this is very efficient. 24 watts is a very small amount of energy for the amount of light that this is producing. So I have it running for about 15 minutes. And let's take a thermal gun test right here. And you can see about 100 degrees right in the center right there. And that's not bad at all considering this is producing 30 watts of ultraviolet. 
And if we go to the back side, I can feel a little of the heat being dissipated. And you can see that that's 102 degrees also. So that means that this cooling fan is doing its job because it's extracting the heat effectively from these LEDs. And that's what you want to extend the life of these LEDs to 50,000 hours. So I have the studio lights off here and I'm using a uh, lux meter and there is the optical sensor and I'm about uh, a foot away and let's take a look at the display right there 1826 lux now that's really bright because this sensor is not even uh, designed to pick up ultraviolet typically it's designed for the light spectrum for for movies and pictures so that shows how bright this is at one foot is producing 1800 lux that's really good now I'm going to show you some examples of me using this and you can you can get some cool things around your house that fluoresce and have some fun or buy some uh, posters, pictures, or paint and you could really uh, have a really neat room or den with some very interesting glow-in-the-dark objects that you can use with this 30 watt ultraviolet light. So I'm videotaping in my closet and you can see the camera's not picking up anything. If I turn this on you can see all the things glowing that have some bleach in the fibers. This is a very, very bright ultraviolet light, as you can see. Just look at that thing, how it's glowing. And I have fluorescent paint on a container, and the camera's probably not picking it up how bright it is, but very bright. You can see where the light is hitting it in the front right there. Just fluorescing, just incredible. So this is what it looks like if you are about three feet away from it, your face. You want to look like a monster. It's pretty neat looking. So I'm going to show you some other examples of household items that fluoresce. So, what's my overall opinion about the UV blacklight sold by MRHUA seller on Amazon.com? This is a full 30 watt unit and I showed you examples of how you could use this to illuminate things. And 30 watts is very powerful for older violet light and it runs really cool it uses very little energy and it's it's got a lot of energy a lot of brightness of ultraviolet so i'm going to give this product a full five star rating on my channel please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you're alerted to new video uploads and if you like this review please hit the like button i hope the information i presented helps you with all your buying decisions thanks for watching